One of the first questions you ask yourself whenever you're looking at 3D printed Warhammer models is how many can I get from one bottle? To answer that question, I bought a bottle of resin purely for this. To make this as realistic as possible, I'm gonna be 3D printing off a playable army. Otherwise, I could cheese it and I could print off 300 grots and then get that juicy clickbait title of I 3D printed 300 Warhammer models with only one bottle of resin. <laughs> at this point in my 3D printing career, I have nine armies so far and I have the intention to print off every single army available, but there has been one army that I started last year and I've just neglected it for way too long. I think we're gonna have to go with orcs. Now I have my army chosen, I now need to choose which models to 3D print. Now, brothers, this is probably the hardest part of 3D printing for me. I found these modular boys and they have choppers and sluggers, so they'll make up a bulk of our army. And these are by far the best boys that I've come across. So along with being more realistic for somebody new to the hobby and might not even have the 3D printer yet, I'm watching this video. I'm gonna only use pre-supported models for this video. Pre-supported files are the quickest way to get printing and that applies from anyone from beginner all the way up to advanced. There are some drawbacks in all honesty brothers now that is that they're more likely going to be failures along the way and they're probably going to be more failures than if I actually take the time myself to support each model. The pros outweigh the cons for me and also for this video because I wanted to apply to as many people as possible. Now for these I'm actually going to try and print them off at 60 millimeter speed. Now normally I would do 40 millimeter but I think think we might be able to get away with 60, it's still quite slow. And just looking through the files here, there doesn't seem to be any notes saying that we can't go up to 60 or that they recommend 40. So we'll try 60 until we hit a failure. The best way to limit any failures is consistency and keeping your environment as much as possible the same day to day. Now, one of the main things that will affect a print is the supports themselves. So that could be the support density or even the type of supports that were used because you have light, medium and heavy. The temperatures of the room and the resin will also affect the prints themselves because resin loves to be at 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. And finally, your print speed. A lot of pre-supporters actually recommend to lower your print speed down to 40 millimeters lift speed. Thankfully, the first plate is printed off okay, and on my Elegy Saturn, I was able to get 10 Orc Boys on the one plate. I suspect if you have like a Mars printer, you're probably looking more at like five or six models per plate. So we're not looking at too much of a difference, but just to keep in mind. But because this plate printed off okay, that means that I can just use the same file and print it off two more times, and then we can have a big, 30 orc boy strong mob. I already have a few orc models like shooter boys and rocket truck squiggy buggy taco trucks. So I'm actually gonna be 3D printing off some storm boys just to try and give the army a bit of speed on the board. And also print off some grots as well to give the orc boys their meat shields and their the grub. So far I've only been using one creator for my orcs and it's kind of a shame because orcs are one of the best armies choice wise. There's just so many creators out there making really good models. So I'm going to be printing off a big war boss and a weird boy to lead my orc boys into crumping on the battlefield. But this is where we run into some troubles. The war boss and the weird boy failed, so I'm gonna have to rethink what models I can use, and I'm more than likely gonna have to look through some of my archives of like old megas and such. I'm sure I have some pre-supported options in there somewhere. On top of that, a majority of the grots failed in the last print, and with the war boss failing, it's actually a really big setback. The war boss was my safe bet. I've used that creator before for my previous models last year whenever I printed them and I was really hoping I would be able to use a lot more of his models this time around. But I'm gonna have to just leave that creator alone because there's a few different reasons. I mean, one, obviously the, the pre-supports don't work, then it's not gonna be worth it for me. I'm trying to get as many models as possible for one bottle of resin, not as many failures. And also the scaling is just way off compared to the rest of the boys that I have printed. Their pre-supporters do say that you can lower the scale of the model. They give you great, instructions to use it in the light shape but let's be frank here if it doesn't work at 100% speed or 100% scale with conservative speeds then 
why is it going to work at a lower percentage scale? I mean, I'm not going to, I'm obviously not going to chance that. So after a few failures, I'm actually going to turn the lift speed down to 40 millimeters. I don't want to have any more failures. And I really want this video to showcase why having a 3D printer is the best tool that you can have because hopefully if one bottle of resin, we'll be able to print off a substantial amount of models. As you can see though, even though these models are professionally pre-supported, they're just not compatible with my 3D printer and that happens sometimes. With lowering the speed down to 40, I'm gonna retry these grots because hopefully that will be all that's needed to get them to print. I'm gonna print off some mega knobs and heavy armor and these are from a different creator who has a lot of options for orcs as well. So it means if these print off okay, then we have another creator to fall back on if we have any more problems in the future. Good news and bad news for this plate. So the shaman and the mega knobs printed off fine. Although some small parts on the shaman didn't print off, but what did is usable. But the real bad news is that the grots still failed even after lowering the left speed. And I mean, I, I can't convey how much of a setback this is. I really was hoping that lowering the left speed was gonna be enough to make them print because a majority of the bodies do print. It's just those little tiny arms that just aren't printing. And I'm gonna to have to try and work out where else I can get pre-supported grots. Cause as far as I know, this is the only creator I've seen recently that's done them. So I'm gonna ask around in my Discord, see if anybody knows anything that I don't and I'll come back to this another day. If you're looking for a community where you can talk about 3D printing or even other aspects of the hobby, then please consider becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon and joining my private Discord. All right, so it looks like there is another creator that offers pre-supported grots, so this is huge. And on top of that, they're also pretty unique and quite cool looking. I mean, one even has a mask. So we'll use these, fingers crossed they work, and there's no failures because right now I'm running both out of time and I'm running out of resin fast. I reckon I probably have about 100 to 150 milliliters of resin in the fat, and right now I can't really afford any more failures. Along with these new grots, I wanna print off some commandos for my army. Since this video is just about saying how many models we can actually get from one ball of resin, and we only have a small amount left in the fat, I'm just gonna call it there because I don't really wanna risk printing off a plate full of decapitated orcs and wasting what's left anyway. What I found from my experience is that you should always try and leave a little bit left in there because I haven't built or cured any of these models yet. So I don't know if there's any parts that are missing. I don't know if there's any parts that are printed off wrong. I haven't actually looked in great detail at all of the parts. So we'll keep that there just for safekeeping. Now we'll get to the fun part of curing all these models and building them, which in hindsight, I really should have been doing throughout the month and not leaving it until the last minute. So, yay. Well, this is embarrassing. Somewhere along the way, I've managed to print off the gun hands the wrong way around. It's more than likely been three on each plate. And because I used the same plate three times, it sort of compounded into kind of a mini fail for the video. All this means is that I have to reprint off the nine hands. I mean, we're... In all honesty, pretty lucky that I used my experience to call it quits at the little amount of resin that we have left in the fat. The one question that we need to answer is how many models did I end up getting out of this one bottle of resin? In total, I managed to get 62 models with 10 or so failures. So realistically, with the amount that we have left in the fat, we're probably looking at about 70 models if everything went right. Also to look at this is these orc boys are essentially space marine size. So this is a really good indication of how many marines you could get from one bottle as well. A large majority of the prints were a success and there were some failures, but unfortunately failures are just a shit part of the hobby. There always will be failures. A lot of my failures I'm gonna be able to use in future projects. So we're not really wasting any models at all. If you're thinking, why did you 3D print off orcs or what should I 3D print then? I've actually made a video here about the top five armies that you should 3D print. So you should watch that before you start.